Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Vlog. This behemoth of a machine is the Land Rover Discovery SD6 and I am going to review it. Let's start with the design of the Discovery. You got Discovery written very big over here and it's in a matte grey finish. Nice. You got the grill. This is also grey but this time it's gloss. You got a Land Rover badge over here and you got a black surround for the grill. Moving on to the lights. These are LED lights and they look cool. Nice. I like those. And this is the blinkers. On the hood you got like a kind of a power bulge and it looks nice you got a crease over here which goes to the back of there and the same on the other side so you got a crease which starts over here and comes all the way down to over here and over here you got rents these are absolutely fake fake ones I hate those moving on you got some lights over here and look at your chunky bumper it's plastic black plastic but it looks tough and rugged and it's very nice I like it it says the discovery. Now let's move on to the side of the Land Rover Discovery. So the side of the Discovery, it's a mammoth thing. It's very long, very tall, and very wide. Yeah. So let's start with the wheels. These are 20 inch Land Rover wheels. They look cool and you got the Land Rover badge over here. And you got some black wheel arches, which is rough and rugged. And you got a crease which starts over here and comes to here. Then you got this pack over here, which is nothing special. You just got this written over here, and behind it it's a matte grey finish with some gloss black paint. Moving on to the door mirrors, this is body coloured with gloss back, and you got blinkers over here. And you got some more black paint over here, and for the windows around also it is black. And there's a lot of black on this car. I like it. But it's it does not look any funny. It's just bulky and heavy looking car. Tough. That's that suits this. And look at this. You got a side step to get into this car. Because if you try and get in without a side step, will be you will have to climb like a monkey. So Land Rover has provided you with this. Thank you, Land Rover, for making it easy for people to get inside their car. Then you got the Land Rover badge over here and we have three creases so one over here and it comes to here and you will crease down over here and go all the way to here that's a very long crease and at the roof you got roof rails these can be used and they're black spotty i like those and yeah i'm very tall now I like it. Now let's go to the back of the Discovery. So the back of the Discovery is just like in the front. You got Discovery written here in bold letters. It is matte grey and it looks nice. You got a Land Rover badge over here, an SD6 badge over here, and you got some black trim over here to just give it some spoiled appearance. And look at the lights. These are LED lights, and you got your blinkers over here. Cool. Then you got a cruise which starts over here. And it goes still there. You've got another crease which starts over here and comes still there. But the thing which makes the back of this discovery look ugly is this bear. This just makes it look offset that this side is longer and this side is shorter. That's the worst design I've seen. This should not be there. That just makes the car offset, a weird angle. I don't like the back of the discovery. But let's move on to the bumper. It's just like in the front, it's uh, black plastic. Just yeah, nice. Now let's check out the boot. So the boot of the Discovery. You open. It's very massive. And with all the seven seats up, you have 194 liters of boot space. So you can fold on these seats by pulling this lever. 
pressing forward. And the same over here. And if you fall now, you get 986 liters of wood space. If you fall down those seats, you get 1,600 liters of wood space. So I have a big heavy thing in my hand. I'm gonna lift it and put it over here. So what do I do? I put down my item and hit this switch, which lowers the car on its air suspension. And look at it go down. And now I can move my item very easily into the boot. My seats are Range Rover. Now let's check out the third row of seating in the Discovery. So to get into the third row of seats, you pull this lever, the seat comes down, and you just move it ahead. Third row seating on the Discovery. You got no knee room. It's very tight, see? I can even move my knees. Uh, you cannot stretch up because the seats are very low in the front. But one thing there is a lot is headroom. Look at these, lot of headroom. Yeah? Lots of headroom. You got, yeah, no storage area to put your drinks and stuff. But you got some storage over here. But it's not good enough to put any drinks over there. So yeah, I don't like the sun seat of the Discovery. Let's move to the front row. So I'm in the middle row of the Discovery and space is a bit tight. You got no knee room. You cannot stretch out behind the, right, the passenger seat. Uh, but like in the back, you got lots of headroom. That's very good. Then on the back of the seat, you got some storage over here and some more storage over here. You got two firewall charges over here and here and you got some storage over here so the armrest um, there's something annoying about this you put your hand in the cup holder sometimes and that's a bit annoying and disturbing yeah oh, I do not like the third row seating of the Discovery it's not very good now let's move on to the front seat of the Discovery so the steering wheel on the Discovery is wrapped in leather but Look at this. You might think this is leather, but it's cheap plastic. Not nice. You got this camera button over here, and you got the buttons for the cruise control over here. And this button controls the small screen over there and your main infotainment system. So the paddle shifts on Discovery is plastic, not very nice. I don't like those. Uh, over here is your light controls and the blinkers. So that's a little mini screen where you can see some information such as vehicle information, vehicle settings, display, you can see like info panel, let's go there, you can see what do you want, so driver assistance, media, trip summary, let's see that, and let's move back out of here, and that's all you can see on the screen. So on this side you got a rail counter, and on that side you got a speedo. It's analog, it's old fashioned, but it's fine. Let's move on to the main infotainment system on the Discovery. There's Jaguar Land Rover system, and it's pretty good. Very, it moves quick, and you got the features you need, such as navigation, radio media, and you can connect your phone. You also got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is nice. And you can also see the cameras and many other items. One cool feature I like in this is four times four so this is for off-roading so you can have you can see off-road information so you can see whether your diff is locked or unlocked you can see your angle of uh, slope information so over here you can see your ground clearance your approach angle your height and yeah it's pretty nice you can see your approach angle which is 29.5 your departure angle is 28 degrees and your breakover angle is 25.5 which is very good for an SUV you have a compass and you can see which program you're in so you're currently in comfort grass gravel snow program and modern roads you can also use the low traction mode which is very useful when you're in like gravel and stuff yeah it's very nice so you got your AC vents over here Nothing special, but it's there. And you got your hazards over here. Over here, you got a start stop button. And over here, you got some piano black trim, which is very cool.
but it can scratch very easily. Moving over here, you got the AC controls. So you got two dual zone control, which is nice and luxurious. And yeah, you can. And it's a pretty cool as you got a screen over here. Nice. So this is your gear selector over here. And look at this. It is very cool. It rises up so you can change the gear. Wonderful, cool design. You got a Land Rover badge over here. And this is your off road slash mode selection button. So you got comfort, gravel, grass, snow. Modern roots, sand, and rock roll. You got lots of features in this car. Let's put it back in comfort. And over here, you got a hill descent control switch and low range gearbox switch over here. This is your auto start stop off switch, your traction control off switch, and this is your air suspension switch. I'll show you how high this, can, this car can rise and how low we can go so the air suspension on the discovery so currently we are in the lowest setting we're going to move into a middle section rising 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 and let's put it up into the highest mode it can go oh yeah there we go rising up and now we can do rock rolling and lots of off-rolling now let's go down Now let's go even lower. So, how was that? Did you enjoy that? And over here is your parking brake. You got a cup holders over here. You can put two big bottles over here. It's very big. And you got some storage over here. You got a 12 watt socket over here. And you got some area to keep stuff over here. So, another cool feature on this Range Rover is we have a glove box. So you got a glove box over here, but the cool feature is you got a second glove box, which is very cool. I like it. So you got a big armrest over here, and you got an area to keep some stuff over here. But under over here, you can keep way more stuff over here. That's a very big area. See, it's very deep. I like it. Then you got another 12 watt socket over here, a micro sim area over here, and you got two USB areas over here. So the seats on the Discovery. That's why I like this car a lot. You got very comfortable seats. They're leather, very comfortable, and you sit like you're sitting on a captain's chair. You can rise it a lot. Feel like you're sitting really on the top of the world. So the seat controls are down there, but the coolest feature is you got this, which just makes it like you're sitting on a captain's chair. You can drive like this. That's very cool. I like it a lot. Now let's move on to the engine. So the engine on the Discovery, it's a 3 litre V6 twin turbocharged. It produces 302 horsepower, but 700 Nm of torque. So that's a really strong engine. This car can pull lots of things so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it see you soon bye